everyone, my name is Grace and I am from lipstickmocha.blogspot.com and I am here with our first video and it's going to be a collective haul slash mini review on all the things that I got while I was in Chicago for Mount UN and when I went shopping with Julia which is the other moderator of this blog and just like little random things I got along the way and I'm just going to follow up with like a little what I think about each product kind of deal and I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'm just going to get started. So the first things I'm going to talk about are Sonia Kasha products. I picked up two um, recently, or kind of recently. I already used these two for a while. And the first one is the Sonia Kashuk Bare Minimum Press Powder and it looks like this. Oop, can't really see it. It has like a mirror kind of compact shape and it has, the, here's the powder. And I got this shade in Translucent Medium, which is number three. This is the darkest shade they have. And I think I think I have it in a shade too dark for me, but it actually works fine. Like, it doesn't look too dark or anything like that. But it has a mirror on the inside, and it's magnetic. I really, really, really love the packaging of this. It just looks so chic and, like, expensive. And I don't know, I really like it. The product itself is very... Um, silky and um, you know it's very smooth it has a really smooth finish onto the skin and it has a little powder puff on the bottom of this as well like so. then for the price I think this is around um, 8 to 10 dollars at Target um, I think for the price it's really and good and it's really great to set your makeup with and yeah I like this I would repurchase it just in a lighter color the next time so Oh yeah, and just for like a skin color reference, I'm around like an NC25 when I'm lighter and an NC30 when I'm darker um, based on MAC shades. So I will go like probably a shade lighter on this, probably with the translucent light 02 the next time. But I still really like this a lot. So next I also picked up the very, very popular Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette. So this just looks like, it's like a, it's like the new, newly packaged one. It has a magnetic um, cover as well and looks like this. So basically it has four colors. It has like just a basic kind of concealer color. It has like a salmon-y darker color. It has a greenish tone color right here and it has a powder. The powder is very sheer but it, is, it has a very nice silky finish to it. But yeah, I absolutely love this. It covers up under eye circles like it's no joke. It has really, really like heavy coverage, and I like how there are different shades. Even though this is the only palette that's available, so if you have really dark skin, it probably won't work for you. Or if you have really light skin, probably won't work for you either. Just for you people that has like that have like medium skin tones, I think this will be really good for you. And um, yeah, usually for underneath the eyes, I use like I mix some of this color and some of like this color just like the peachy tone color and I just put it underneath my eyes and I set, set it with whatever powder and yeah it really covers them and it lasts pretty long I want to say all day but most of the day and the green color is really nice for covering redness if you have any redness so yeah overall I really really oh I just got a message really really love this palette and it for ten dollars I don't think you can go wrong it can be compared to a lot of higher end um, concealer palettes and yeah I think you should give it a try if you're interested okay so the next thing I'm going to talk about is an Asian kind of Asian cosmetic product and it's from skin food and it looks like this it is called the raspberry black raspberry young yang cream or something like that and it comes in this like super super adorable packaging and you just take off the cap. Here's the cap. Here's just what the actual product looks like. And it has kind of like a cap in a glass container. And um, here's what it says. It says contains Rubus Corneus Mequel Extract, which was used to take care of coarse and dry skin in old days. And sap from 12 herbal plants, nutrient cream instantly revives the dryness of your skin. So basically, it, if you have dry skin, this is recommended. Like, now I have really oily skin, but because it, it is winter in 
where I live, my skin just gets really dry when I wash it, especially with like an acne wash or an exfoliator. So I just got, went ahead and got this and because it would moisturize really, really well. And like if, I, if it's too oily for my face, I can use it for my body. But I really absolutely am in love with this scent. It smells, so here's the cream looks like. It's just like white, nothing really special. But, oh my gosh, it smells so nice. Like, it has like an herbal, like floral, herby scent to it. It just smells so good. It reminds me so much of like Asia and what I used to use when I was back in China, but I don't know, it smells really good. And it's super, super moisturizing. It's almost moisturizing to a fact it's kind of greasy, so I don't use a lot of this on my face. A little goes a long way. And um, I think this was around 17 or $18. I got it on eBay, and I think it's like really nice. Like you. Okay, so next product, I got the... These are the things... Okay, I'm going to start talking about the things I got from Chicago when I was at Ulta. The first thing I'm going to talk about from Ulta that I got was um, my first ever high-end mascara. I got the Tarte... Um, um, the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Natural Waterproof Mascara. Here's the box for it. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Isn't it so adorable? It's like this, it has this like nautical and like jean packaging. It's like the waterproof version of the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara that a lot of people rave on YouTube about. And basically, it's just, it has a really kind of almost like standard brush. As you can see, it has like a lot of product clumped on, on it. I was a bit worried because it has like a pretty wet formula. And for me, wet formulas do not work well because I have really short lashes that don't curl that much naturally. So I was kind of worried about it. And, um, but yeah, like this is waterproof and it has like, it has like beeswax or something. Mineral pigments and like botanical waterproofing agent. Something like that, I don't even know, but it actually works very well. It lengthens them, it like makes them, it's definitely really black and um, it doesn't smudge throughout the day and it volumizes them, it thickens them. I just really, I really like this at end up. But the first time I used it though, it's very, 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 very wet. Like it's a very wet formula. You have to really be careful when you put it on your lash, like um, to not get it on like the lids. You just have to be really careful with this mascara when you use it initially. But when you get used to it, it's very, very nice. And I really, really like it. I mean, it was $19, which is like a lot for a mascara. I like don't normally spend that much money on mascaras. But I think it's worth it. Plus the packaging is like super cute. I thought it would be a cute souvenir either way. But I ended up really liking this mascara. And I'm like, I really wanted to try other higher mascaras because it really did make my lashes look different. Like people actually um, notice. So I, uh, I also picked up a few NYX products because they were having a buy one get one 50% off sale and I never, I only have one NYX eyeshadow and because they don't sell NYX around our area and so I picked up four NYX products. The first one I picked up is my first NYX jumbo eye pencil and I got this sh um, shade in yogurt. It's like this really really kind of nice like champagne-y bronzy color looks like this it's very very reflective it has kind of like a pinkish tone to it too I don't really know how to describe this color it like looks different from every from every angle here's what it looks like I like NYX eye jumbo eye pencils a lot and um, I just never got a chance to try them like now I tried this one, I really really like it and I want so many more of these. I mean they are so fun, they look so cute with their white packaging. And I think this was around, I think $4, it's 4 or $5, I'm not really sure. So from NYX I got the NYX Auto Eyebrow Pencil in the color Charcoal. And it's like just looks like this, it's like an automatic eyebrow pencil, it has like a brush thing on the end, which I don't like this kind of brush, I prefer the one with the spoolie um, end because it just works better when I like comb through my brows but yeah I got this shade in charcoal and I really 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 like 
this a lot because I do have my brows filled in right now. I don't know if you can tell. Probably not because my, my brows are already pretty full. But it's just like a really kind of soft black. Like a gray color like this. Like this is a color when I just sweep it on my hands. And it looks like this. And yeah, I really like it. I think it looks really natural. Um, it's not very, very creamy and pigmented that I like. I if I do like that, it would just go everywhere and it would smudge. No, it's kind of chalky and hard. But I think that's good for an eyebrow pencil because it's really easy to work with. You don't have to worry about messing it up that much. So yeah, I really like this eyebrow pencil, and I believe can't remember how much it is. I think it was around four to six dollars, but I'm not really sure. I can put the price down in. The blog and yeah I really like the eyebrow pencil and I've been just really into like eyebrows and filling them in because they do make your face look a lot different because they frame the face and I think it's pretty important actually I don't know why I never got around to you do um do my eyebrows but I really really like this product and I recommend it if you want to try it there are several different shades just charcoal works best for really dark to black hair okay so the next NYX product that I got was the NYX 10 color eyeshadow palette, the Runaway Collection. And I got it in number 8, Secret World, which looks like this. I'm really excited about this because I really like this palette. It has a humongo mirror, which is really, 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 really good to travel with. And when I was at Ulta, I really, really wanted a naked palette. Like, I saw it and like part of my heart just died because I really really wanted it and it was fifty dollars you know like, like both a naked one and naked two and I just couldn't get myself to buy it so I was like I have to buy a NYX palette then because these are like the best the next best thing that were a lot cheaper you know so I got the one in Runaway uh, in Secret World it has these green shades there were another one that was a lot more neutral but I figured that I might as well just like you know go with the green because I don't have that much green eyeshadows or any at all but here's the colors I'll swatch a couple of my favorites I like this pink color in the middle a lot and um, this is the pink color in the middle don't know if you can see that and I, I also like this orange color right next to it. The orange color is very pigmented. These are so... Here's the orange shade. I just like swatched out. These are so smooth and pigmented. They're a bit loose. That's the only thing I don't like about these is they're kind of loose. But yeah, like, but like this lime green shade is absolutely beautiful. looks like. I don't know if you can see, so the light's kind of washing everything out. But this is what the green color looks like. It's just, I just love these shadows a lot. They're very pigmented. And um, they last all day with a primer. And they're smooth. They just have a lot of fall. Um, especially this row has a bit of fallout, but this row is fine. And this row, um, the neutral row, also has a lot of like green reflex glitter in it, which is kind of cool. You can't really tell when it's on your lid, but you can see it in the pen. It looks kind of cool. But yeah, overall this palette was really, really, I really, really like this palette. I think it's around $10 or something. I think it was like 9 to 12 somewhere around there. And I really recommend it if you're looking for just a cheaper alternative to more the more expensive palettes and that's great for everyday or travel. So uh, the last NYX product that I picked up is a blush. I really really wanted to try um, their powder blushes because you know, they've been raved on YouTube and they're very popular and they're very cheap for the, um, for the quality but the Ulta that I went to didn't really have a lot of shades. They had like one shade and that was like a pinky rosy shade that I already kind of have a blush kind of like that. So I just ended up picking up a cream blush which I'm super excited about. Like I always wanted to try a cream blush but I never know gotten myself to actually purchase one because they're kind of expensive um depends on what kind you get even in the drugstore so i got this um nyx blush rouge cream blush looks like this oh the, the light's like totally washing out the color right here this is what like the true color is it's called natural 
and basically just this very nice kind of baby rosy pink. And I don't want to swatch with my hands. But here's what it looks like swatched. It's very, very pigmented. Like, you don't need a lot of product. This is what it looks like when it's kind of blended, not really. But you can see it's a really pretty color. It looks very, very natural on the face, and it's very blendable. And I'm absolutely in love with this. It looks very natural. Um, I think I applied this after my BB cream and just apply it and then set it with the powder because it is a powder product and I don't want to put it on top of a powder. I mean, it is a cream product and I don't really want to put it on top of a powder. So, yeah. It's really blendable and I really, really like this. I think it's around $6. And so buy one get one 50% off is a very good deal. All the products I got. So I'm really, really, really impressed with that. And I recommend you checking it out. And I actually picked the last two things um, up yesterday at Target with Julia. And I'm really, really excited about them. And I really like them both, actually. The first one is a blush. Um, it's from Wet n Wild. And it's called Heather Silk. Look like this. And here's what it looks like. It's really, really dark. I know the cam. I know on a camera it doesn't look like it. It's like almost as like bright as my shirt. Like you know the other color, not the really dark color, the other color, but like less plummy. Let's see. If oh, like this. This is like the. Tr this is like its true color. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. This is like a true color. It's like a matte kind of. Really dark rosy with a little bit of plummy undertone kind of shade. Comes with a little brush like this, which I don't. I I guess it could work, but it's kind of hard. So I don't recommend using this. But you know it's there, and but this blush is so pigmented, like it's crazy. Like yesterday when I was trying it on, I like just dipped my brush in it and put it on my face, and it was like my face was like burning and. and my face was like bright pink and I kind of freaked out a little bit. But yeah, you don't need, a little goes a really, really long way with this product. Like it's so pigmented. Like look at that. That was just like one, t I, I, I could barely touched it. I'm going to put a swatch of that on my hands so you can see. See that color? Yeah, it's not an eyeshadow, that's a blush. And I really just touched it. And it's a really pretty color, actually. I really like it. You just have to be really, really careful when using um, this blush because it is so pigmented. So I just take a brush and I really just tap it in there and just blend it on my, on my cheeks really, really quick. Um, I, I feel like that's the only way you can use it without being having your blush too overdone. If you have darker skin tones, I feel like this would be better if you have fair skin tone. Because I, I feel like if you have a um, really fair skin tone, this would just look crazy on you and you don't want to look crazy. So yeah, I think if you have medium to dark, this would be really good for you. And it's very pigmented, so you have to be careful with it. And I think I got this at Target for around $2.99. So the last product I'm going to talk about is um, the something that I've been really wanting to get, but I never got a chance to get, is the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Studio Cream Shadow. 24 hour cream shadow. I bet you guys have heard a lot about these on YouTube, on blog, just everywhere in general and I picked up the color in Tough as Taupe number 35 and yeah I really really what intrigued me about this color is that it's matte and it's a cream so I was like at first I was really intrigued because you know I know matte has a lot of pink pods that are matte and but you know, a drugstore product, this is like huge, in my opinion, and I really, really like this product a lot. I'm actually wearing it on my lids right now, I know you can't tell because the lighting is washing it. But I'm wearing like a really thin layer, and I just darken the crease a bit with another kind of green, a grayish brown shadow. But I really, really like this. Um, it does last for a long time. I had this makeup since morning, and um, it hasn't really no, smudged or faded or anything, but... Here's a swatch. It's super pigmented. This is the color. Actually, that was a really good swatch. But 
you can see I can just like easily blend it out and make it less pigmented. But this is the color. It's like a, it's like a topish. It's a taupe, well, obviously, but it's like a brownish gray. It has cool, definitely has some cooler undertones rather than a warmer one. But here's what it colored, what it looks like. But yeah, I really like this. I think it's, I think I got this for $5.99 at Target. And I really, really like this. I think it's great for like an everyday neutral eye. And, or if you want to like amp it up a bit, just put it all over lid and put shadow over it. Or you can just wear it by itself. It, that's fine too. This is like serious stuff. Like it's not, it's not a joke. You know, you don't put it on your lid and like just disappears. It like actually has color, which is kind of amazing. So yeah, I really recommend this and trying it out. I really want to try other colors if I can. Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm like oops, wearing like a different outfit and everything. That's because I was about to edit the um, haul video, but I just went to Target and I picked up some more things. So I'm just gonna get on with this tag and show you guys some more things that I got. I went to Target, Walmart, and CV... It's not Walgreens, Walgreens. So I went to those three places and I got a couple of things. And sorry, the lighting is kind of bad right now. It's kind of like washing me out. But I'm just gonna um, show you guys the stuff that I got and I th I'm pretty excited about them. And in case you're wondering, this eye look, I just made a tutorial on it and I'm gonna upload it soon. So, but I'm just going to get on with the haul right now. So, yeah. 